Hello guys, welcome back to Mr. Legend Crypto guys. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at the Sandbox current rank number 34 in coin market cap in the last one month that's gone as high as $1.34 and as low as $0.73. In this video, we'll be talking about our bear market strategy for Sandbox. Should we be accumulating more right now? There's a little rally happening in the all coin market. Should we be buying more? Is the bottom in? We'll be looking at the Sandbox US dollar price chart. We'll be looking at Sandbox against Bitcoin. We'll also be looking at Sandbox performance against Ethereum. Should we be flipping our Ethereum for some Sandbox right now and then find Finally, we'll take a look at the sandbox market cap chart. How low can it go in the bear market? We'll be talking about that and more in this video. But first, guys, if you're new to this channel and you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more awesome videos like this. Turn on the post notification if you want to get notified anytime I drop a new video. Let's get down to business. Guys, at the point of recording of this video, Sandbox still has a market cap of $1.5 billion. We have 42% of the maximum supply in circulation. In the last 24 hours, the trading volume of Sandbox is over $500 million. Now, Sandbox in the last one year is up 157%. In the last one month, it's down 5.5%. In the last one week, it's up 11.6%. And in the last one week, all coins in the all coin market actually started rallying. A lot of them started having crazy pumps bitcoin went to as high as 22,800 ethereum towards pumping so should you be buying these all coins is the dump over and this is the sandbox us dollar price chart from 2020 till 2022 below right here is the sandbox rsi and this sandbox on a one day time frame so each bar here represents one day on the sandbox us dollar price chart and uh, sandbox went from as low as 0.04 dollars to as high as $8.3 at the top of the bull run. Sandbox had an 18,000% increase in just 458 days. Anytime the RSI of Sandbox is in this oversold region and this lower bar, that's when you want to be getting some Sandbox. So right now, should be getting some Sandbox. In the last and one month, Sandbox has had a different rally. It pumped more than 70%, but guys, the problem is that we pumped right into resistance and from the all-time high for sandbox and sandbox was dumping from as high as 8.5 dollars sandbox lost more than 90 percent of its value it dropped to 0.75 dollars which represented 91 percent drop from the all-time high now a lot of people got sandbox right here because we know that during the bear market all coins used to lose 90 to 99 percent of their value during the bear market so the sandbox was doing what other all coins did after losing 90% of its value, it's having a pump right now, and the pump is 70%. But do we still expect further downside? And yes, guys, we expect further downside for Sandbox. You might be wondering why, even though we're down 90% from the all time high, why are we expecting further downside? And the simple situation is that Bitcoin has not found its bottom. And as far as Bitcoin has not found its bottom, guys, you want to be careful with the, all of these all coins because even after Bitcoin finds its bottom, a lot of the all coins will keep dumping. And you can see that Sandbox reacted to this. And region we had a bounce off it and before then some has reacted to this region in march 2021 and sand reacted to this region again in august 2021 so this has been a pivotal region for sand against the us dollar even when we go back to this region when we are crashing you can see that we had a little nice bounce off it if sandbox cannot break this huge support which has turned to resistance that's around 1.25 to 1.3 dollars and we might see sandbox going below 0.82 dollars is that possible that's very very possible guys you want to be careful with these altcoins because guys sandbox has had crazy crazy pumps and leading up to the bear market in the bull run sandbox air pumping from november 2020 it was virtually in an up only motion in the next 400 days if you have invested at any point in time into sandbox uh from november 2020 you are probably being profit and um, but a lot of people at the end always get to a lot of these projects at the top you can see that where sandbox had the most volume was right here when sandbox broke to 0.82 level so a lot of people that bought sandbox didn't really enjoy the pump like that many of them just got less than a thousand percent pump and a lot of people are still holding and that's why you want to be careful with all coins yes they can pump crazy you can see that it just took sandbox 30 days to go up more than 900 percent but it took it more than one year to drop and it didn't just drop at once it was teasing it will drop 40 percent it will pump a little drop another 40 percent pump a little so is that what's happening right now are we getting faked out just like we have done before you can see that we got faked out right here december uh, 2021 we got we thought we were going to new all-time highs then we dumped we thought that the dump was over then we dumped we thought the dump was over again then we have dumped and we went sideways we dumped again right now and we have pumped back to that resistance level are we going to dump 
only time will tell but how is sandbox performing against bitcoin and ethereum and bitcoin and ethereum normally during the bear market actually outperform a lot of all coins so how is sandbox performing against bitcoin and against ethereum against bitcoin sandbox had mad mad appreciation against bitcoin from january 16 2021 and sandbox went up over 14,000 percent in just 311 days against bitcoin if you had one bitcoin in sandbox right here guys at the top of the market if you sold that bitcoin guys you invested one bitcoin in sandbox right here at the top of the market if you invested one bitcoin right here at the bottom of the market at the top of the market right now you could be able to sell that sandbox and get 143 bitcoin but with every crazy pumps comes mad mad dumps and because sandbox went up over 14,000 percent in less than a year right now it's down bad against bitcoin it's losing value at very very rapid pace against bitcoin in 210 days it lost more than 76 percent of that value now something peculiar is happening in the last one month and sandbox has been outperforming bitcoin which is nice to see at the same time that's not a good sign for the altcoin market sandbox included in the last one month sandbox has gained more than 50 percent on its bitcoin pairing that means bitcoin has lost more value than sandbox in the last one month sandbox is up 87 percent against bitcoin in just one month guys is the bottom in should we be holding sandbox through the bear market instead of bitcoin or is this just a trap because right now uh, the chart is showing you that if you're holding sandbox you're actually doing better off than holding bitcoin so will you be tempted to flip your bitcoin for some sandbox because guys i still think in the bear market i will still see some dumps bitcoin is still going to get dominance of the market back we'll actually see sandbox maybe still continue dropping and we might have a round trip happening we might see sandbox get back to where we were in 24th october 2021 it's very very possible a lot of these all coins will never set new all-time highs against bitcoin again most of them set their first all and final all-time high against bitcoin in their first cycle the second cycle they will dump so bad against bitcoin that it's hard for them to set new all-time highs yes there are some exceptions but will sandbox be that exception and during the bear market a lot of the all coins trend downwards towards bitcoin even before sandbox went on that crazy ride it was trending downwards towards bitcoin and right now for sandbox to actually go crazy in the next bull run it has to check out the weak hands and the weak hands will be flipping to bitcoin anytime soon or will they continue holding sandbox and their money keep losing value against bitcoin only time we tell but guys don't be surprised to see sandbox lose like 92 percent of its value against bitcoin before the end of the bear market worst case scenario it might actually lose as high as 96 percent of its value against bitcoin only time we tell the rsi of sandbox against bitcoin is telling us we got to this overbought region and anytime rsi and anytime sandbox gets to this overbought region you want to be careful yes we can have more for that upside after we get to that overbought region but guys after that for that upside will come huge huge dumps and right now we have tasted that overbought region it looks as if we are going to the oversold region you want to buy some sandbox when it's in the oversold region if you want to flip your sandbox for some bitcoin or your bitcoin for some sandbox you want to get a good deal you just don't want to rush into it so be very very careful out there and how is sandbox performing against the number one altcoin in the cryptocurrency market how is sandbox performing against ethereum against ethereum sandbox had a crazy run it went from where it was against ethereum on the 11th of january 2021 at the top of the market sandbox had gone up more than 4900 percent against ethereum in just less than 320 days that's a mad pump to the upside and all these pumps happen because most of these projects are relatively new nobody really knows their value so people are just trying to gauge what is their true value and since there's no any resistance there's no any support most of them are just going trending upwards because that's what's happening in that phase of the market a lot of people are risks on people just want to buy anything as fast the price will go up but with all those madness comes huge dump and since when the top of sandbox against ethereum came in november 2021 this was where sandbox actually top against ethereum it has lost more than 68 percent of its value against ethereum and yes in the last one month sandbox is outperforming ethereum just like bitcoin that's another crazy thing you have to notice sandbox is outperforming bitcoin by more than 85 percent outperforming ethereum by more than 84 percent at this point in time should you be flipping your ethereum for some sandbox or is this just a huge huge bear trap you want to be careful guys during the bear market you don't want to be holding a lot of these all coins and it's actually crazy that a lot of these all coins have held really well during the dump if bitcoin and ethereum have dropped way down from their all-time high they have gone back to their 2018 all-time high a lot of these all coins are still holding up very very well but at some point in time the universe is going to balance itself out we're going to see all these all coins dump so don't be shocked to actually see uh, sandbox losing value against ethereum the nearest future probably losing another 60 70 percent of its value that's very very possible sandbox was actually if sandbox looks 70 80 percent of its value it should just go back to where it was in october 2021 for context sake guys october 2021 bitcoin was 
69,000. Ethereum was up around 4,800. Right now, Bitcoin is trading just above 20,000 and Ethereum above 1,200. So a lot of these altcoins are still holding up well. If you compare the dump that they have had compared to Bitcoin and Ethereum, but how long will they keep holding? Only time we tell. Now we're going to get a rally in the altcoin market at some point in time. And is, have we already gotten the rally? Is the rally over? Are we still going back to Goblin Town? Because if you look at the Sandbox market cap valuation chart, you can see that Sandbox valuation at the height of the bull run went to as high as seven billion dollars. But since then, Sandbox has been dumping. It dumped to as high as just nine hundred and sixty-two million dollars, which represented an eighty-seven percent drop from the all-time high. And right now, Sandbox uh, market valuation has increased back to over a billion dollars. It is up back to one point five billion dollars. But that one point five billion dollars is a critical, critical level for Sandbox. Why, guys? Because you can see that when Sandbox was dropping from the high, the set in November two thousand and twenty-one, it's around that one point five, one point six billion dollar region that is settled, it consolidated for a long period of time around that region. After consolidating and it couldn't hold that region anymore, what happened? It dumped a little lower. Uh, I don't think that this level is going to hold if we keep dumping again. And we dumped to this level, went back to test that region. Can we break through? We couldn't even break through. Now, right now, we're dumping and we might actually dump to around that $960 million region. If you see Sandbox market valuation dumping here, don't be surprised. And I, if it dumps here, I don't think this level will hold. We might actually go further lower. We might go to as low as 500 maybe $400 million on the Sandbox market cap chart. It will represent Sandbox dropping more than 92% from the all-time high. And guys, this is what actually sound, this is what actually all coins do during the bear market. Most of them lose more than 90, 92% of their value during the bear market because they had crazy, crazy pumps during the bull run. During the bull run, Sandbox went up more than 10,000%. So it dropping 92% uh, is still performing well if you consider the mighty pump you have. So guys, drop a touch in the comment section. Where will you be getting some Sandbox for yourself? Will you be buying some Sandbox during the dump? Or will you be selling into the pump or will you just be holding through the chaos waiting for the next bull run? At some point in time, Sandbox will go back and set new all-time highs. That's not happening anytime soon. Maybe this is the next bull run or maybe we'll get Sandbox setting a new all-time high during the bear market rally. Only time we tell. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more awesome videos like this. Turn on the post notification if you want to get notified anytime I drop a new video. See you guys in my next video. Bye.